And the Dabrinic Channel is back. And today we are talking about California. We are looking at the last hour radar as California is starting to get wet, just as promised. The last 12 hours here, and you can see over the last 12 hours, one system moved out. And I have some footage right here from earlier today that I recorded so you could see that. As you can see, it's a big blob of rain and it moves out fairly quickly and it fizzles out into nothing. But man, it just dumped over Lake Oroville pretty hot and heavy there for a quite a bit of time and now we will go out to the other radar and now here we are back to the live radar and you can see that it's starting to get wet there in california and let's go out to lake oroville and see what's going on out there now as we roll out to lake oroville you can see that they're releasing water and we will see what these outflows are it looks like it's a little bit more than it was last video at this time so time will tell we are going to be figuring this out here in a few minutes we'll be looking at the graphs and what not let's go out to tropical tidbits we will see how much rainfall is expected we are looking at the emergency spillway now clearly the emergency spillway is not even full so that's good news we will see what's going on there right now this is a little behind as there's already rain in california so we are just a hair behind it's probably more like right here as we scoot on this is monday february 19th you can see that it really starts to kick in and it's going to be very wet tomorrow very very wet there in california big low pressure system out here kicking in snow in the sierras and it's spilling over all the way over into nevada which is rare usually sierra mountain range just takes in all the moisture and leaves none for the colorado and then it starts to fall apart just a little bit we're on the 20th and we continue to scoot and you can see that some more rain has kicked in to lower nevada and parts of utah more into the colorado R river system you have this low pressure up here now and more rain kicking in on Wednesday and then on Wednesday night it starts to rain some more more snow in the mountains low pressure up here 1008 isobars the low pressure is 1004 over here and you can see that some snow for the Colorado that's good news for the Colorado maybe that'll boost it up and then it just moves away on Thursday and we continue to flow you could see not a whole lot going on next week we're already into Saturday once we get past this first system it'll be dry for a bit and we continue to scoot in and you possibly have another one coming next week on monday as we scoot in you can see it starts to hit monday and then we go into the 18 hour mark 198 hours you can see this is a whole mess out here and it continues to scoot here and you can see that right around the oroville area it's going to be really heavy rain and thick some of this is kicking over into Nevada, Lower California, and whatnot, Arizona as well. And then you have a big snowstorm here in the Sierra Mountain Range. And that's the 27th, 12 hours, 18 hours. Look at this, Nevada, Utah, Colorado. So that's good news for the Colorado. Look of all the rain and snow there. And it continues to dump. So maybe this will put us over 100% there in Colorado. Time will tell. The low pressure's out here. Very powerful, 985 iso bars very tight pack between 1034 and 1085 that it's going to be very windy and you can see that kicking in and then we go into your leap day on our leap year february 29th 2024 and there's still some snow back here in colorado not not much going on here in california and it, that moves away and that continues to go we're on to the third day of march and there's another little system right here coming in we will see what happens this scoots in right there some snow and rain in the four corners area and it continues to scoot up and that's pretty well it there might be another system back here it's hinting at it hard to say this far out we're march 5th a very long way out so we have a couple systems to get through the first one is starting today into the week and then we have another one next week and then it dries out for a bit so we will see let's go out to windy.com and see what the current amounts of rain they're predicting is we're going to start off in oroville like we always do now the europeans calling for eight inches here 
to Lake Oroville's watershed, and you can see that that's 8.09 inches. Now, is the GFS calling for that much? Not as much, but still, 6 inches is a whole lot. Let's see if they're calling for more up here. They are. That's 6 inches there. Let's see what the European model is doing there, 7.84. So they are definitely close, but they're not in total agreements on how much that's going to be. We will come back to snow here in a bit. 7.73 up here, the European's calling for. The GFS is calling for about 5. We'll go a little further up. They're calling for 5.83. The European is being very bullish over eight and a half inches. It's crazy. We go over here to Lake Trinity and you can see 6.88 in the watershed there and possibly 5.1. So they're closer together there. We'll go down here to New Bullard's Bar Reservoir and you can see 5.56 in the Europeans calling for 6.91. So once again, the Europeans being very bullish. You can see that the precipitations made it all the way to Reno. They're calling for over an inch, which is rare for them. South Lake Tahoe, 2.3. Truckee, 3.3. 0.03 we go down to Sacramento and you could see 5.85 and the GFS is calling for two so we go over up to Yuba City with the GFS and you're talking about 2.76 and the Europeans calling for 5.91 so we are getting closer folks we go to the three day and we'll see what the difference is they're calling for 4.43 within the next three days and the GFS is calling for 1.63 in the next three days so you're gonna get a majority of it now go back back to the 10 day and we'll scoot down further south to Folsom over here 6.89 there along the American River watershed and you could see that 2.62 so one of them's going to win out hopefully it's the GFS just because we don't need that amount of rain that's a lot of precipitation all at once time will tell we'll go down to Yosemite Valley and the GFS is actually calling for almost five inches of rain and the Europeans calling for 4.18 so it's a little bit less bullish down here I guess we'll see what system ultimately wins hard to really say but you can see California is going to be really wet. Las Vegas is going to have 0.22, but over here, like north of Mead, 1.38. And that's real good news. They could use all the rain they could get, continue to have the lake continue to rise. Bakersfield, 1.32. For my friends down there, hello. Catherine and the gang down there hope everybody's doing well and the GFS is calling for 1.24 and then we come over to Lake Havasu Arizona and they're calling for 0.36 so now it looks like you might get some rain compared to yesterday when they're saying you weren't going to get any at all and 0.24 so I hope the GFS is more correct for over here. That would be great because the Europeans not calling for that much, but the GFS is calling for 1.66. If you're living in Los Angeles, here comes more rain for you guys, almost four inches possibly according to the GFS. The Europeans call for 2.7 and they're saying more of it's going to be over here in Santa Barbara and Santa Maria and along the coast here. You could see possibly seven inches coming. So that's what we got going there. Let's go check out the new snow and see what What's going on we will start up like we always do over here in caribou or chester somewhere in there 52 possible inches that is a lot of snow and that's the european the gfs is calling for 40 so either way that's a ton of precipitation possibly coming we go up to chester chester's calling for 38 inches and the european model is calling for 60 inches that is a ton we go down to east quincy over here and East Quincy's calling for 37.8. The GFS is calling for 37. So maybe the same there. Let's go up to Mount Shasta over here. They're calling for 54. The GFS and the Europeans calling for 64. So maybe a 10 inch difference. Still a lot of precipitation. 49 inches for Lake Trinity's watershed here 50 inches is what they're calling for there the gfs is calling for 21 so time will tell we will come down for you snow lovers we will go to south lake tahoe we'll start over at Truckee. 30 inches for the gfs the europeans calling for 26 so they're pretty close in agreements we'll go over to reno for my friends out there 9.1 possibly or 16 inches so we'll see which one wins out they're definitely far apart bear valley 27 inches for the gfs the Europeans call for 44 inches, so it is definitely a big difference. We go to Yosemite Valley, 38 inches or 30 inches, so 8 inches apart there. Mammoth Lakes we go to 33 inches. The Europeans call for 28, so a couple inches apart. 
do a couple more here. Big Pine, 19 inches, and the GFS is calling for 17 inches. So that's what you got. You get the gist. It's going to be a lot of rain, but we'll take what we can get, and that's what we got. Let's go out to the graph and see what's going on today at Lake Trinity. As we roll out to Lake Trinity, the current water level is 2,315.97 feet, and that was on Sunday, February 18, 2024 at 2 p.m. The level is 54.03 feet below full of 2,370. Changes since yesterday, the lake is up 0.71 feet over the last 24 hours. Over the last 7 days, the lake is up 2.95 feet. Over the last 14 days, the lake is up 8.05 feet. Over the last 30 days, the lake is up 26.67 feet. Over the last 120 days, the lake is up 36.05 feet. Over the last year, the lake is up 86.21 feet. Your inflows are currently 1,721. Your outflows, of course, at Lake Trinity, for the most part, have been zero. I've seen them change every once in a while. I think they release a little bit at night, but when I make my videos, they always tend to be zero. Zero. Crazy. Three year bar graph, 2,228.54 feet. Last year we were looking at 2,229.76 feet. Today we're looking at 2,315.97 feet. And percentage of capacity is currently 67.77%. Down to Lake Folsom we go next. As we roll out to Lake Folsom, your current water level is 426.75 feet. And that was Sunday, February 18, 2024. At 2 p.m., the level is 39.25 feet below full pool of 466 feet changes since yesterday the lake is down 0.14 feet over the last 24 hours over the last seven days the lake is up 14.60 feet over the last 14 days the lake is only up 3.13 feet over the last 30 days the lake is up 12.12 feet over the last 120 days the lake is down 0.31 feet over the last year the lake is up 7.12 feet your inflows are currently 4,904, so are your outflows the same? We go to your three-year bar graph, 420.38 feet in 2022. Last year, we were looking at 419.63 feet, and of course, today, we're at 426.75 feet. Percentage of capacity is currently 59.88%. Up to Lake Shasta, we go next. As we roll out to Lake Shasta, your current water level is 1,040.38 feet, and that was Sunday, February 18th. 2024 at 2 p.m. The level's 126.62 feet below full pool, 1,067. Changes since yesterday, the lake is up 1,040.38 feet over the last 24 hours. Over the last seven days, the lake is up 30.15 feet. Over the last 14 days, the lake is up 3.62 feet. Over the last 30 days, the lake is up 24.25 feet. Over the last 120 days, the lake is also up 23.74 feet. Over the last year, the lake is up 47.58 feet. Your inflows are cruising at 25,144. Your outflows are currently 13,216. And we go to your three-year graph here. 937.59 feet in 2022. Last year, we we're looking at 992.80 feet. Today, we're at 1,040.38 feet, and we continue to roll out to percentage of capacity, and it's up a little bit from the last video, 83.54%. Down to our final stop tonight, Lake Oroville next. As we roll out to Lake Oroville, your current water level is 851.27 feet, and that was Sunday, February 18, 2024 at 2 p.m. The level is 48.73 feet below full pool of 900. Changes since yesterday, the lake is up 0.22 feet. Over the last seven days, the lake is up 4.06 feet. Over the last 14 days, the lake is up 9.54 feet. Over the last 30 days, the lake is up 25.66 feet. And over the last 120 days, the lake is up 27.38 feet. Over the last year, the lake is up 26.80 feet. Your inflows are cooking at 13,298. Your outflows are only 2,004. It looked like it, much more was going across there, but that's what they're saying. And then we go to your three-year bar graph here. In 2022, we are looking at 747.87 feet. Last year, we were looking at 824.47 feet and this year we're at 851.27 feet percentage of capacity is 79.87 percent thank you guys for stopping by i hope you enjoyed the video and we will see you on the next one god bless